For nearly two weeks, the Cricket World Cup caused some road closures and restrictions near Eisenhower Park, but now everything is getting back to normal here. The park has reopened to the public, and our Caroline Flynn is inside Eisenhower with its current status. How are things looking today? A little quieter, I think, Caroline. <laughs> You know, Tara, in some ways, yes, but in other ways, it is busy here. I mean, behind me, we have what remains, which is still a lot of it, of the Cricket World Cup Stadium. But look at what the activity that is up in the sky right now. You can see they are working, these crews here, to dismantle this 35 thousand seat stadium. It took months to build and field six must be back to how it was prior by July 31st. For that reason, this area is closed till five o'clock while the stadium is being broken down. This is something that will happen daily, but the good news is the rest of Eisenhower Park is open and it is business as usual for those who love to do so many different activities in it, including walking, going to golf courses, the dog run. I mean, there are just a lot of different ways to enjoy this special 930 acre space. It was crazy that they locked the whole thing off. Even when they were building it, they blocked half of it off. So you couldn't even get anywhere near like where they're building on that. It was terrible. You know, we walk Jones Beach, so it's not like we missed it, missed it, but this is our routine and we love it and we are happy to be back. All right, so we've been in the park for hours today, and I can tell you that it doesn't seem like anyone was more eager to get back to enjoying a specific facility than those who go to the pool at the Aquatic Center. Several residents told us that they had been frustrated that they paid for a membership but had no access during the World Cup matches. They hope if another big event comes to town, organizers will find a better way to accommodate more people's needs. The ice skaters were displaced, we were displaced for 12 days and you know think about who's there make provisions for those I mean we're paying your salaries we're your patrons Now, we were told that swimmers were able to go to Hofstra University and use their pool, but what the swimmers told us is it just was not the same, especially when it came to accessibility for the handicapped. And we reached out to Nassau County to see if they would say anything about the closures and any plans for the future, but they would not give any comment. Back to you, Tara.